Hi guys, Merry Christmas. This is a time of year when a lot of you are going to have to go and see family members and old friends and people who you would like to say, I've made it in life and here I am. This is Christmas. This is my big day of presentation, right? And you don't want to be turning up with a, with a piece that's falling off your head a bit. So I would recommend a brush forward look for this particular day of the year because otherwise, you know, you're risking a lot, you know, having that exposed hairline. So if you could brush it forward a bit, that'd be good. I just went to the trouble of uh, brushing this all forward and cutting it shorter because I had a big pineapple sticking out. It might still reappear as a pineapple in a certain way. Uh, from this point onwards where my hair piece begins. Um, but I realized it was too long. Before it was coming down to about there, now I've cut it down to, well, predominantly, as it's tapered in on the sides, um, well, in the middle it goes still pretty long, but it comes on the sides there. And it comes in there. So no overhang anymore. It just sold that. There are two things though I need to make sure that you all do by tomorrow. Well, when are the Christmases for you? I mean, it's tomorrow. First of all, shave the back of your neck. Okay, so get a little handheld mirror. So you can see the back of your neck. And you can launch your shave off. So how far? How far do you need to go up? Mine's kind of messy. I've got different densities of hair happening all along the back of my neck. It's hard for me to tell where it should actually be. So I start going like that and then I end up having to have a very, very pointy little piece. So I'm not ambidextrous by the way, I'm not am I'm not able to use my left hand for anything. It's very, I throw like a girl with my left hand, right? But it's fairly easy to just, when you're looking in the mirror, shave back and forth like that. You've kind of got to lean your head forward a bit. So you can see. But at this point here, when I get to that little thing at the back there, there's no way for me to do that when my neck is bent, because otherwise the folds in my neck get in the way. So I'll just line it up in the mirror. And then look at the floor. Okay, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to do it with that. Okay, so, scratch myself a bit there. I'm just wondering whether it's, whether or not it's worth getting rid of that section there. I think I'll leave that, otherwise I can keep going up and up forever. Hair doesn't go in straight lines. So, second thing is equally important. Get a razor blade. If you've got any hair sticking in your nose, at least cut them. If you haven't got the wax, it's probably too painful to do in the middle of the night on Christmas Eve or whatever. But just make sure you've got those hairs out of your ears. You don't want to be an old man. And don't ever shave side to side with a razor blade, right? Be careful.
As for hairstyling, water has no hold. Okay? This will evaporate and I'll be left with nothing. So unless this hair sits exactly the way I need it to, um, I'm going to need to put some product in. I recommend something malleable and soft. You might be able to go and pick this up right now from 7-Eleven in your country, whatever your equivalent is. If you've got a late night store or if it's daytime for you, go shopping and get some, this is called paste or cream. You don't want, um, yeah, I guess, I guess, See, even though I've been recommending uh, clay, which is the hardened version of paste, really, um, it will make your hair a little bit dreadlocky. Um, gel is too shiny, I'd say. So I recommend uh, paste. Even mousse is too shiny. And I'm not sure that this is the one I was looking for the other day. This conditioner, leave-in conditioner, is better than nothing. So it's like a halfway between paste and basically just water, really. At least it gives you some hold throughout the day. And it smells nice, okay? That's about $25, that's expensive stuff. About 25 bucks for that. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> make sure your hair is sort of brushed forward. You don't want too long. You don't want too buffy out here or anything. Just, just a reminder, if you don't remember how to cut your hair, maybe it's not a good day to experiment though if you haven't done it properly before, but I just did. So I brushed it all forward at the point there, come away in a layer like that, like layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four. So layer one first and then pull it back like that, grab it all up in your fingers, okay? And then just snip away at the hairs and sort of curve them around so they become sort of shorter as they reach the sides. Okay, so hopefully your hair will sit nicely. Any joins around here or whatever will match your natural colored hair. And if you do need to dye any hairs so that it all works out for tomorrow, do that now. I think it takes a while for the skin to actually wash out hair dye. Okay, if that's a part of your procedure. So yeah, you don't want, especially if you wear it all the way to the back there, you don't want that hair to be a different colour from that hair, because that's the dead giveaway that all comedians joke about when they're talking about people who wear two toupees. Okay, you don't want that to be. <laughs> people looking at you from behind, going, because behind you is where people laugh at you. Capiche? Make sure that's all good on the back. Yeah, and, and, and don't just put hair product in the hair piece, put it all through, like that is all your hair, all of that's your hair now, okay? You don't want ear hairs and you don't want nose hairs sticking out, at least. Worst case scenario, don't stab yourself in the brain and start mummifying, but worst case scenario, you can do that, right? The scissors. So Merry Christmas, and uh, I'll probably see you in the 2020s. Enjoy the last remaining dregs of this century, probably this decade. <laughs>